Wait up. I heard something. What is it, Mimi? Ah. I'm an honesty person on ground! Stay with me. We'll patch you right up. I have to... help... everyone. Stop moving. You don't understand. I promised them. Said I'd... keep them safe. If I'm the only one that survives, then it's all been for nothing. I have to go. Oi. Don't be a clod. Huh? I'm... I'm not. Oh, what? You're really serious, then? How are you gonna save anyone when you can barely stand yourself? You got a death wish or something? <gasps> Let's break it down. As I see it, you have two options here. You can go in and try to save them by yourself, or you can let us pitch in. Which one of those strikes you as the better idea, eh? You want to help me? I don't know. That depends. But I wouldn't be in such a hurry to throw my life away. Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. <sighs> it's just a quick patch up, but it should help you think straight. Sorry about Lance and his threatening display of idiocy. What's threatening? You missed the point. I did not miss the... Look, you can relax. We're all friends here. Would you mind telling us what's going on? Yeah, okay. There was a Kavesi raid. There was no time. I had to cause a diversion, so I leapt in without a second thought. After that, it's... it's all a blur. That was pretty reckless of you. Remind Riku of someone Riku know? Oh. Whatever the case may be, we had best hurry. Judging by the situation, your allies were likely forced apart and are now fighting alone. <sighs> it really sounds like it would help to have some numbers on your side, no? For now, let's take the best course of action we can. We can hash out the details later. The best... course? <sighs> My name is Fiona. I am the commander of Colony Mew. I know this might be a lot to ask, seeing as we've just met. But please, lend me your strength. I need to save my people. Always nice to see a new face. Hold on, everyone. I'm on my way. There you go. New colony data. alone. Let's send her on. Her voice deserves to be heard. All right. Be at rest. This was a nice find. Oh, whack him good. If 
told me I was stronger. They found us. Everyone's safe. It must have hurt so much. Fiona, leave the rest to us. Yes. Thank you. We can't leave it like this. You're right. Crying isn't going to change anything. Noah, Mio, would you mind taking care of everyone? Such is the Offseer's duty. Well, this was entertaining. Quite a contest. <sighs> Indeed. And it ended with your loss. Irma! What took you? Sorry. How's everyone? Fiona! Oh, Fifi, I was so worried about you. We're surrounded. And pretty badly depleted. Men, aim for that banner. It's their commander, Fiona. Dream on, mother! We should go. All of us, yes. We didn't ask for these outsiders. This is still our fight. 
But the wind didn't... Ah, it's nothing. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. Stop fighting fit. Relax, Fifi. You worry far too much. In Colony Mew, we fight as one. Right, folks? You guys... Trust your crew. Trust yourself. Trust in victory. All hearts as one. We'll make it together. Yeah! We made it! Fiona! Fifi! Irma! All of you! You pulled through! Thank you! Come on now, of course we did! We made a promise, right? Come what may, we'll always be together. <sighs> Lance! Everybody! Thank you so much for saving our lives. Whoa, all right, steady on. We're not deaf. We were just going to walk away. I couldn't let you go without a proper thank you. Even if... Even if you're Ouroboros, the betrayers. Hang on. No, no. No need to explain. You're our saviors. That's right. You even healed our wounded. Yeah, you don't look like baddies to me. Exactly. And I noticed that when we were fighting side by side, you guys all trust one another. That's why. You've made up your mind, have you, Fiona? Yeah. That's why I want to try trusting too. I want to destroy our flame clock. Would you mind doing us this one last favor? Hmm? It's hardly a problem for us, but why the sudden request? We heard about a liberated colony from Nopon travelers. That's what got me thinking. There should be more to life than spending it fighting all the time. Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. Sounds to me like you've been mulling it over. This has to change. I want to change myself. And I want to change the way things are. <laughs> Good on you. Looks like you got it figured out. You'll... You'll trust me. <laughs> That's the same look you gave us when we first met. You'll do anything to protect your friends, won't you? <laughs> All right, then. Let's make tracks for Colony Mew. That is, if she didn't still seem to be having second thoughts. Care to tell us why? Oh, you noticed? Well, that makes things easier. There are two major stumbling blocks. 
The first is that you'll have to somehow outwit the console. And second, that only that console knows the location of the flame clock under discussion. Huh? How can you not know? The one you see right now? That's just a fake. Fake? How's that then? Oh, but the console isn't here right now. This might be the right time to act. Fiona, this isn't the place to be having this conversation. Ah, right. Sorry. In any case, let's talk details at the colony. Our people are on their last legs. We'll need time to get back to strength. Um, please, take this. I'm happy you were able to send everyone on their way. It really helped me to be a little more positive. Thank you so much. Sorry about all the urgent requests. We'll be waiting for you at Colony Mew. Don't keep us waiting too long. Always nice to see a new face. We've been waiting for you. This is awesome! Did you guys make this? I suppose we did. Whenever we say farewell to a friend, we plant flower seeds. They kept growing over time, and before we knew it, we had this. It's beautiful, but to think of all the departed. Standing still spells death. If we can't achieve victory, there will be no tomorrow. But still, we didn't want to forget that they were all here once. So that's why you're getting all teary-eyed. What? N no. It's just the pollen. It doesn't take much to get Commander Boohoo here going. Karma? Looks like you've taken a lot on your shoulders. Doesn't it weigh you down? A little. I just wish I wasn't such a weakling. You can put the burden down whenever you want, you know. You can still choose to keep things the same as always. I wouldn't think any less of you if you did. Neither would anyone else here. I love you for saying that, Irma. Just like I love everyone here, and Colony Mew, where I met you all. And ever since I realized that, tomorrow stopped looking so dark. And that's exactly why I can't run away from my responsibility. I get it. Whatever happens, I trust in you. And I trust you too. Fiona, Irma. All the squad leaders have assembled. 
We can start the meeting at your convenience. Understood. I'll be right there. Oh, but before that, Fifi... Tickle ambush! Kitchy kitchy goo! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Listen up, Fifi. Get it all out of you. Yep, now she's back to herself. We're waiting in the square. Why? I'll get you back, you'll see. <laughs> Run away! It's hard to imagine that the console will make it easy for us with the flame clock. Someone will surely pay for this with their life. Again. Please. Do whatever you can to make sure it's not Fiona. Always nice to see a new face. Huh. Would you believe it? <laughs> Come to uni. Hmm? There we go. Here. Getting kind of hungry the here. Oh, innit? Are we seriously going to do it now? Those Gavessi dudes are still loitering around. Who's loitering again? God, he's huge. Sounded like someone was having a bit of a whinge. We all good here? We're great. Right, Tallow? Uh, right, Chief. No whinge in here. Say again? N nothing to say, really. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Time is of the essence. Sorry to rush, but can we get straight to the point? What should we talk about first? You said nobody knows where your real flame clock is except the console. How are we supposed to find it, then? I don't suppose we could just ask the console? <sighs> oh, come on! Why the huge sigh? I was just asking. Someone had to ask. Well, it has to be somewhere, or the status quo wouldn't be maintained. If you fight, the flame clock must fill up. Suppose you were to harvest a large pool of life in a short time. Oh. It would flow into the real clock. I'd like to investigate any large-scale combat engagements you may have experienced. If we're lucky, someone may have witnessed some signs of the flame clock's operation. Can we take a look into your past battle record? Of course. I'll have them delivered to you. You said the colony's flame clock was a fake. What did you mean by that? Wow, pretty blunt, huh? Honestly, we don't really know any more beyond the fact that it's a fake. Since we never use it anyway, yeah? When it's close to running dry, we get orders from the console to go out and fight. Well, what is it for, then? Do you think maybe there's some weird advantage to it? Like, maybe the colony's rank is really high, but it makes it look lower to get enemies to underestimate us. Or, or the exact opposite. Actually, we're bottom tier, but it looks a lot higher to intimidate people. Oh, yeah. It could be that. Well, your actual strength doesn't change, so it'd be pretty obvious once you get down to it. And also, supplies from the castle are allocated based on rank. 
Could we see your supplies? That would give us a good idea of where you fall, rank-wise. Nico's on warehouse detail. And I'm Nico. I'll get things ready for your inspection. If the current flame clock is fake, what happens when your rank goes up? As far as I know, I don't think that's ever happened. Wait, you're joking. You've always been on the same level. Nico, that's me. Heard something from the console one time. She said to tough it out and do exactly as instructed, and everything would be all right. Oh? I was told something else. People only see what they want to see. I think it was. Uh, meaning? Meaning nobody actually wants to see how much is left on their clock, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, if you knew, you'd just stress out over it constantly. A little more stressing wouldn't go amiss in your case, Tallow, you turkin head. What? Why do you got to call me names? Just cause. Wow. Well, we don't know exactly what the console intended, but she must have had something in mind to go to these lengths rigging the contraption. You said the console was away. Do you know how long for? Tell you bluntly, we don't know either. She's always disappearing, going off on one special mission or another. In that case, she could be back at any time. I'm sorry that the answer isn't very useful. This all sounds like kind of a big deal. It doesn't bother you. It's nothing special. We don't normally talk much about it. She just sends us down broad stroke orders, like, go defeat those guys. Send a team to this location. Yeah. The only time she spoke normally was that one time, wasn't it? You know, the time when Fiona became commander. Yuck, do we have to talk about that? About what? When the previous commander died, Fiona clung to the consul's knees. Started saying that the way we fought was making everyone miserable. Yeah, it turned into a whole, like, debate. Until the consul was like, fine then, you try and change it. And made Fiona the commander. What? Just like that? I know, it was a twisted kind of punishment. But now I've got everyone else tangled up in this mess. Whatever. We know you just want the best for us, Fifi. That's why you get yourself in such tizzy. And that's why we want to support you in turn. You're good, Fiona. Better than you know. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Punishing someone with a promotion? That's so bizarre. So, this whole clock-breaking thing's kind of a sudden development, yeah? I wanted to ask how you lot feel about all this. We know how Fiona feels, but are you all okay with what we're about to do? Honestly, I just want Fiona to be able to relax, like not have to carry all this responsibility. That's so kind of you. Even if we do this, people will still die. Yeah, but if they do, it will be because of their own failure. That's not the same. She carries the banner for us, and it's because of us that it's so heavy. But that weight's also the momentum that keeps her moving forward. I don't want us doing anything that could sully the purity of Fiona's conscience. All right, all right. Let's all take some deep breaths. We're all friends here. Keep it civil. I'm happy that you're so concerned for me. Thank you. Well, I reckon things will work out one way or another. I mean, come on. You've got us on your side. Yeah, you tell him, Lance. No one wants to lose their mates. Just don't lose track of what matters, yeah? I think we've more or less heard all we need. Yeah, I think so too. It's time to get to work. Let's check out the loose threads we've uncovered. We should investigate the supplies in the warehouse and the colony's battle record data. Is that right? I'll make sure everyone gives you their full cooperation. We'll also try looking around for anything we might have missed. If anything turns up, we'll be in touch. Always nice to see a new face. Huh. 
Would you believe it? Always nice to see a new face. Would you believe it? You know, you've got to take regular breaks. This reminds me. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasted. Oh no. What's going on? It's like back at Colony 4. Another Mobius messing with us. Crap! Sorry about this, bud. Tello! Don't worry, he'll be all right. But now... <gasps> mm. 
Muse Consul. It was you, wasn't it? Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty dreams. You really should have just stayed dreaming. <gasps> Why would you do something like this? When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Kevis, sacrificed all those lives? Without some hardship, humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! How could you put Fiona through this? I know perfectly well what I did. She never once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. The need to support one another. She taught me that as well. <sighs> oh, well, ain't that nice? Learn this! What are you... Don't hurt my friend! Even if she's bad, she's still my friend! Fiona! Let me see what's up! 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 Let me see
sorry. You were my friend. But I couldn't save you. <laughs> You'll always be my Irma. Everyone's getting along. So this is where the flame clock was. How did we never see it before? Look, I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never ever forgive her, but if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? But if things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Hello. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. I'll get rid of all your worries. You can count on this turk in head, okay? <laughs> Same old Tallow. She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move, but I followed every word you said. Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. But then, why? Why do something like that? I'm supposed to be the turkey head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. You're already our friend, Fifi. Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think it'll keep you strong. Yeah. I won't. Not ever. Here we go! Everyone's getting along. <laughs> <laughs> 